Hi, today I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you and this is very easy question so uh, I do not uh, ask you to stop video here as I usually do because uh, questions are very easy and you probably would be able to answer them right away while I'm reading the question and answers. So here is the first question. What form of RNA carries instructions from the nucleus to the ribosome? And here, as you see, we have five answers to choose from. I would start with answer E, B RNA, and this is incorrect answer because there is no such thing as B RNA. So this is this answer is a total nonsense. Answer D, R RNA, and R here stands for ribosome, and this is also incorrect answer. Uh, RNA, uh, ribosomal RNA. Uh, used in order to make a ribosome. So uh, answer C is RNA and S here stands for the small RNA uh, that can be found for example in bacteria. Uh, also doesn't answer our question so we also cross out this answer. And answer B message RNA would be our choice and answer A, tRNA or transport RNA is also incorrect answer. tRNA would be used in order to bring um, amino acids uh, from the cytosol to ribosome and so we can cross out this answer. So message RNA uh, would carry instructions from the nucleus to ribosome. So imagine that this is nucleus and here we have uh, different uh, chromosomes and chromosomes would be in relaxed form. So if you would use uh, for example electronic microscope or light microscope you wouldn't be able to uh, detect uh, single chromosomes here because uh, you would just see uh, just a mass of chromosomes uh, and uh, from such a mass of chromosomes that would be in active form uh, message RNA would be produced uh, and message RNA later would leave uh, a nucleus. This would be transcribed in nucleus and when it would leave in cytosol it would be translated into the uh, amino acids sequence and amino acid sequence would make a three-dimensional form of the protein. So uh, this is how information flows and of course uh, this example stands for the uh, eukaryotic organism uh, where uh, in each cell uh, there is a nucleus and in such organism as bacteria there is no nucleus so message RNA would be simultaneously uh, transcribed and translated because there is no such thing as a uh, nucleus so uh, all the chromosomes just float freely in cytosol. Next question the language of the genetic code of the DNA uses an alphabet of and here is the five answers to choose from. Answer E, phosphate molecules, and this is incorrect answer. So there is a phosphate that is present in the DNA, but uh, we cannot use this as an answer. Sugars also would be incorrect answer. Those uh, sugar ring is present in DNA, and amino acid, uh, or in other words, uh, this is would be a protein, 20 amino acids exist and uh, this is also incorrect answer. Uh, amino acids would make a protein, so this would be a building blocks of the protein. So we left with only two answers, answer A and answer B. Proteins, so uh, proteins uh, is not an uh, alphabet of the DNA. This is a product of the uh, 
transcription and translation of the DNA. So we can cross out this answer and we left with only answer A, nucleotide bases, and this would be the correct answer. We have four nucleotide bases, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. So these four bases uh, would make a sequence of the DNA and would make uh, such thing as uh, codons and we have 64 different codons or all living organisms on uh, our planet uh, use the same genetic code uh, and make 64 codons that code for the 20 amino acids so uh, these four bases adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine can be considered as alphabet of the DNA. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.